Hi, welcome, Simon here, and I hope you're doing well. In this video, I'll try to do a teardown and show it to you how to maybe upgrade your M.2 drive, maybe change your battery, um, upgrade the RAM, things like that. Here, I have a Dell laptop, and if you turn it around, take a closer look at the very fine print here. It says the model for this is P125G or P125G002 and this is the Dell Inspiron which is the laptop slash tablet you can turn it around at 360 let me show it to you this is the keyboard with the uh, stylus pen here and if you turn it all the way around it becomes a tablet with the pen and you can um, just whatever it is okay so um, I just like to take this moment and try to take it apart, do a teardown and show it to you what are the things we can do. So first, let me shut down the computer. For some reason, it is still turning on. I apologize for that. Let's press and hold the power button and see if that helps. All right, it's asking me to set up Windows 11. We're going to try to shut it down. All right. So the computer is shut down. Let's turn it around. Get yourself a Phillips screwdriver here. We need to remove the back cover to take a look at what is inside. So the top three screws in the top, it does not come off, okay? So you can just loosen up the screw. But the two screws at the bottom and the two screws on the side, they do come right off. Okay, once you have that removed, let's go ahead and try to remove the back cover here. Once you have removed the back cover, and here you can see your entire laptop. So this is the battery. This is your M.2 drive, the CPU fan, CPU with the heat sink, which exhausts the hot air away from your laptop. And here comes the motherboard. And this is the IO board for the additional HDMI or the USB. This is your CMOS battery, and I do not see the RAM. So maybe the RAM is soldered onto the motherboard, maybe on the other side of the, uh, the computer. I'm not 100% sure. And you can see that the pen is exposed right here. All right, the first thing I like to do is to disconnect the battery. Let's go ahead and slide the connector down. So the connector, you just slide it down. This is for your battery. So there are some um, cables sticking onto the battery. You need to somewhat disconnect or remove that sticker. See what else is connected to the uh, computer. Now, there you go. You can just slide the battery off. Now, let's take a look at here. The battery model is MXV9B. So that is the model number for your battery. Okay, and I'll try to link it in the description below where you can get them through either Amazon or eBay. And also take a look here. It also has the uh, CN-05VC2M. That is also one of the product number where you can look up for the battery replacement. All right, so let's put the battery on the side. 
Here you can see the speaker is connected to the outlet on this part right here. So this is probably your speaker. You can slide the connector to your right. That's how you remove the speaker. And this speaker here runs ar across at the bottom here to the right side of the speaker. So there's only one connector, but then it runs through the cable and connect to the same for your speaker. Okay, that goes your speaker. Let's go ahead and remove the M.2 drive. Phillips screwdriver, remove the tiny screw. What you want to do is slide the M.2 to your right, and that's how you remove it. And this is your thermal pad. This thermal pad conducts the heat from your M.2 onto the motherboard. So let's take a look here. This runs on how big is the 512 gigabytes, okay? Now, if you're interested to upgrade your M.2 drive, what you can do is to buy one of these USB adapter. I'll link them in the description below. Go ahead and install this just like that. And you can plug it into any USB of a different computer to extract the data, or maybe you can clone it over, meaning that you can clone from the original M.2 drive here, you can clone it over to, let's just say this is the one terabyte hard drive. You can clone it by plugging it in, cloning from this over to the new one terabyte. And I'll show it to you how to do the cloning process, but not in this video. It will be a separate video. I'll link them in the description. Again, check the description where you can see the, uh, the how to clone process. All right, so that would be done. Let's take a look at the next step would be your I.O. board. Let's go ahead and disconnect this. Flip it open, slide it to your right. There is a little clipper. Make sure the clipper is open, slide it to your right. And we are trying to disconnect the CPU fan right now. Once you remove the two screws on the top right and the bottom left, you can slide the connector to your left. That's how you disconnect the CPU fan. Okay, so this is a CPU fan. If you want to find a replacement part, let's take a closer look here. It says something about CN0995NC. The thing is really small. I can't read it, um, but... You get the picture, okay? That's for your CPU fan. Now this is your heatsink. Let's go ahead and try to disconnect the heatsink and see what happened. So what I like to do is once you have unscrewed the four screw, the heatsink would come right out. If you flip it around, it's, it shows you the thermal paste. It's all kind of dried up already. So what you want to do is you want to get yourself uh, alcohol wipes. So get any alcohol wipes. Go ahead and wipe it down the CPU area. Okay, wipe it down and then you can apply with this new thermal paste. Squeeze it on top and then wipe this one clean and install with the heat sink back on. All right, so that's how you can uh, reduce the heat on the computer and that's how you cool off the, uh, for the heat problem on your laptop. All right, once you have done that, so let me uh, kind of show you a little bit more what else can we do here. Maybe we can remove the LCD screen. Hopefully that helps to, uh, to show it to you how to replace the screen if you have a cracked screen. 
Okay, so there's one screw holding down to the hinge on the top left, and this is the uh, the one in the bottom. So this is for the top right and bottom right. Okay, so let's flip the hinge up about 90 degree angle once you have removed the two screws. Okay, now let's disconnect the LCD cable. So go ahead and open up this plastic here. And then make sure the clipper is flipped open. And slide the cable away from your body. That is for first one. And this is the touchscreen sensor. Open up the clipper, flip it open at 90 degree angle. And then slide the cable away from you. And there goes your entire LCD screen. Let's take a look if there's any webcam, anything. Nope. All right. So I think we can now slide. Hopefully this would work. I'm not 100% sure. This is my first time doing this. Okay, there you have it. So technically, once you have it, the two cable removed, you can slide the entire bottom out. Now this entire LCD screen will just come right out. And if you want to do a screen replacement, I highly recommend to buy the one that pre-built a full assembly screen like this, rather than just replace the screen itself. The way the touchscreen works is somewhat double-sided adhesive on it, so I don't think it's easy for you to remove or replace just the screen. All right, so the next part, you can actually remove the motherboard. Um, I'm not going to do that in the video here. So I'll just walk you through how to do it. This is your cable for your, um, what do you call that? The, uh, the stylus pen for that. All right, and this is your Wi-Fi card. So this Wi-Fi card is holding down the two wires here. You see the two wires? One of them is going down to here. This is your Wi-Fi antenna. And then the second one goes down to here for your Wi-Fi antenna. So this is your Wi-Fi. Again, this is your I.O. board for this one here, right? This is your touchpad. This is your keyboard lighting. And this is your keyboard. So once you remove all the cables and you remove the screw, you can remove the entire motherboard and do a replacement for that. Okay, now if you're going to walk forward with the keyboard replacement, I think this keyboard is replaceable. If you take a closer look here, you can see this tiny little screw. Those are the screw-on screw on keyboard. You see that? Screw-on keyboard, keyboard, those are, the, those are the screw. So maybe you want to look up for this model right here, which is the CN-0M0H4C. So that is the... Or the product number here that is for your keyboard replacement so the keyboard replacement you would have to remove the motherboard remove the io board remove the keyboard which is a set and then replace it all right so i hope the video is helpful to you and i hope you learned something today uh, please give me a like subscribe to the channel if you haven't and make sure you hit the notification bell and if you have any question regarding about computer problems or your phone um, anything related to it comment below i'll read your comment and i'll try to answer those questions for you i hope this teardown process is helpful and if it is do not forget to hit the like button all right thanks for watching i wish you the best bye now